we are going to learn about another one of God's creatures. And it is so cute. Now, if we got up to one really close, I don't know if we would think it would be that cute. But when we see them, we think, oh, we want to cuddle them. But could we really cuddle this animal in real life? No. What kind of animal is this? A oh, bear, that's right. Bears are so fun. We have bears at our houses, don't we? We get to cuddle them, and we're usually we call them teddy bears. But this bear, these bears right here, they're not really teddy bears, are they? These are some of God's creatures, and I want to talk to you about these bears today. Now, do you see this bear? This bear has kind of like a little hump on him. That means that he is a grizzly bear. Say that with me. A grizzly bear. A grizzly bear is usually brown or black, and they have that hump on their back. Now, this is a mama bear. Do you see this mama bear? She is trying to get food for her babies. These are her babies right here. Now, a baby bear is called a cub. What's it called? A cub. A cub. And the cubs live with their mama bear in the forest. You can't have a bear as a pet because they are wild animals. They live in the wild. And oh, boys and girls, this summer, Mrs. Stewart got to go on vacation. And I got to go on vacation, and it was to Canada. And it was so much fun. And I got to go to Canada, and I saw lots of bears. And one of the hotels that I was staying in was so neat because I looked out my window one morning and there was a mama bear and there were two baby cubs. Oh, it was so neat to go downstairs and look at those bears face to face. I'd only seen bears at the zoo, but I couldn't touch them. I couldn't touch these bears either, but they were a lot closer to me than when I go to the zoo. When you go to the zoo, there's a big fence, isn't there? And there's usually a big, place like where they can go down in like almost like a moat where there's water and then there's like a big mountain where the bears are so that they can't come over to you and you can't go over to them but they were even closer to me they were like almost as close to me as I am to you I just couldn't cross over into the grass because there was a big line that said do not cross because the bears would come every morning and sometimes in the cool of the evening and they would come to look for food. They like to eat things like berries. They like blackberries. What kind of berries do they like? <laughs> blackberries, they do. And they like fruit and things like that too. But they were looking for food to eat. And they would come early in the morning and they would come really early in the evening when it's cool to look for food. And it was so neat to be able to see them this close like I am to you. It was so neat to see those bears. Now, I saw lots of animals on my trip. I saw moose, and I saw deer, and I saw foxes, and I even saw eagles, the bald eagles. I saw them, and they were way up in the trees, and it was so neat to get my camera out and use my lens. And I even saw bears when I was on a special thing called a ski lift, which takes you up really high in the mountains, and you could ride over the mountains. And I saw bears down below behind me. And they were just having so much fun. And the little baby cubs, they like to play like you do. Do you have, when you have brothers and sisters, don't you like to play sometimes? Sometimes boys, you like to wrestle a little bit. Or girls, you like to tickle and have fun with daddy and mommy sometimes. You like to do that. Well, the baby cubs, they like to play like that too. They like to just wrestle around together until the mama bear says, that's enough. You probably hear that too. Mommy will say, that's enough, no more wrestling. And you're just playing around and those bears do the same thing. Now God made them pretty special. All that stuff that comes out of their skin, what is that stuff called? Oh. Fur, it does. I thought maybe you would say hair, but it is. It's called fur. You are right. You are so smart. The fur, and it, God keep, gave them that fur to keep them nice and warm in the winter time. And oh, they do. They have nice wor um, fur. But you know what? When we have our teddy bears, they're pretty soft, aren't they? The teddy bears that we get to sleep in. But do you know that really a bear's fur is not really that soft? 
It's not. It's not soft and cuddly like you would think it would be. It's actually kind of rough and scratchy, but they sure do look nice and soft. Well, God also gave them some big claws. That way they could tear open like the fish because they do like to go catch fish. They can't use a fishing pole, can they? No! <laughs> so they go down in the water and they use their claws to grab those fish and then they can eat that fish and they like that. Something else they like to eat. It is so sweet. What do you think it is? It is blackberries, but there's something else. It's so sweet and sticky. What do you think it is? Honey. Honey, it is. It's honey, and they do. When they see bees swarming around a tree and they see where the bees are in that honeycomb, do you know that bears will go and they will try to get that honeycomb and they try to knock it down and they will eat that honey? Do you know that the bees do not sting the bears? They don't. They will not sting the bears. They will not sting them. Now, if we try to do that, they will sting us, won't they? That's why we have to stay away from the bears. But the bees will not. They don't want to sting the bears. And they don't bother the bears. They just let them have the honey. They do. And they love to eat honey. Sometimes if you go to the zoo, you can see them. I've even seen them. They give them honey with nuts and berries and things inside of like a ball that they can play with that has holes. And then the bear uses his tongue. God gave the bear a really long tongue so that he can get inside that honeycomb and scoop it out almost like a big spatula. And he can scoop out that honey to eat. And it's so yummy. But guess what? After they eat... They will eat all summer long and all spring and all fall. And then they do something in the winter time. They go to sleep. They do. And they sleep all winter. It's called hibernation. Say that big word with me. Hibernation. Hibernation. They do. They go into a big cave. It's like, and they call it like a den. When bears all get together, it's like a bear den. Say that with me. A den. den. And they go into that big cave and after they've eaten and eaten and eaten and eaten all summer long and all winter and all fall long, then they go and they sleep. When the snow starts to fall, they know it's time to go to bed and they'll sleep all winter long. Can you imagine doing that? Sleeping all winter long and then they go to sleep. But as soon as the flowers start to grow and the snow starts to melt, God wakes them up. They do, and they probably yawn. Oh, you could probably hear that. It probably sounds really loud. And they yawn, and they wake up, and they come out of that cave, and they go look for food, and it starts all over again. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that neat how the bears live, how God made them so special? Isn't it neat how God made us special? God didn't make us to sleep all winter long, did he? No, we eat and then we take a nap, don't we? Sometimes we do. We take a nap, we'll eat our lunch, and then we'll take a nap, and then we'll get up, and then we'll have fun, and then we have dinner, and then you take a nap, but you don't sleep forever and ever and ever and ever, do you? No, because God made us different. But God made these bears so neat and special. You know what? God made the grizzly bears. God made black bears. Do you know that God made another bear called a polar bear? Say that name with me. Polar bear. Polar bear. Those are those white bears. And do you know that they can be almost 14 feet tall? God made them so they could actually stand on their back legs and they could almost walk. Now, they can't walk for a really long time. But if they get scared or somebody's trying to get at them, they can scare their enemy. And they can stand on their back legs, even the bears. And they can go, rawr, and growl at them. I wouldn't want to see a polar bear. If a polar bear was in this room standing up, his head would go right through the ceiling. It is taller than 14 feet. That's pretty cool. God made those animals really neat. I'm glad that we can learn all about animals. And I'm glad that we can learn about the differences between animals. Some sleep all winter, some collect food, and they store it in their cheeks like the chipmunks, and then they go and they bury their food. Some animals they do all different things don't they some can walk on their back legs some can fly and some can't we've learned lots of different animals haven't we and it is fun to learn about different things i'm glad that we've learned about the bears today what are the baby bears called 
Cubs. Cubs, yes. And if it's a if it's a brown or black bear that has a hump, what kind of bear is it? It's a what? A grizzly bear. That's right. And what is that sweet thing that they like to eat? Honey. Uh, honey. And if they go to sleep all winter, what was that big word called? Hibernate. Hibernate. Say that again. Hibernate. Hibernate. Good job. It is fun to learn about different animals that God made.